Hey, what's going on, dudes? Welcome back. Another video today, and today I'm actually showing you guys something kind of neat uh, for maybe some of you guys that are beginner casters or even uh, casters that have been doing this for a while. Now, I think this is only for Twitch, so keep that in mind that when you're trying this out, uh, it's not going to work on YouTube. So those of you guys that are flipping over because, you know, Dr. Lupo and Tim and all those people are going over to YouTube, just keep in mind this is a little bit different here. So let's just jump right in. Let me show you this website called scene.gg and show you all the benefits of what this, this site offers. So we got ourselves a uh, a little situation over here with, with the old OBS. So you can see it's, oh, that's my cat down. Oh, it's my cat. This is my cat. He's, his name is Nuke and he just kind of sits here. It's, uh, I'll, I'll leave them up just so you guys can hang out with them while we while we get this going. Here we go. So this is uh, OBS. We're open here. We got things running and uh, we're going to show you guys exactly what you can get out of this website called scene.gg. Now here's scene.gg right here, man. So all you have to do is just log in utilizing uh, your account and then you're going to have access to a bunch of different things here. So if you click on dashboard, you're going to start to see a bunch of different options coming down the uh, the pipeline here. Now, Right off the bat, once you get it all linked up, you're going to get a little verified e email thing. You're going to have to also link your Twitch. Uh, you'll have to authorize it to uh, go ahead and see all your all your stuff there. But once you are authorized, uh, this is a section in which you would choose the game that maybe you are playing currently. Or if you leave it blank, it'll update to whatever you have set in your Twitch dashboard. Now, down below, you got your social media and stuff. And you want to pre-put all your stuff in here so you can see what's about to happen here in a second. So uh, there is some other stuff here from Tiltify and uh, Extra Life, but let's just jump right in and show you guys exactly what you're going to get out of uh, the, the this site and how much it actually benefits and maybe could help you out. Here is my uh, my little my little OBS setup. We got a blank scene here. I also got a little desktop scene to be able to show my desktop, but let's just jump right into scene starting soon. So when I actually go to this site, it's going to preload uh, this this thing that I already got set up here and you can already see this giant green outline as well as the war zone thing so you, you you remember back a second ago when I actually opened this up I actually set this to call of duty war zone now if I change this to just chatting or something like that and I would update it it would actually change over here and say just chatting and it would talk about what just chatting is now I also set a little timer in there and we'll get into how you can kind of change and customize everything. Now you can also see that when the scene changes, it also has this nice little custom color thing. I think it's kind of based on maybe like the image that's behind you. You can see it changing again here. Uh, but anyways, there's also this little watermark. It's powered by scene.gg. Now I think if you uh, you pay a little fee, you can actually get rid of that. But if you don't, uh, you'll just have that little, you know, watermark on your screen the whole time. So keep in mind if you if you're okay with that, now you're going to have a watermark. So let's go ahead and move on over to intermission. And when I select that, it's going to go to an intermission screen, which I already had pre-dialed in, which is actually going to start showing clips. Nuke, high five. Like this one here of high my five. cat trying to high five me. And that's five. Nuke. And so high what five. this will do is high it'll five. show you what you're playing. So high maybe five. this is like a B right back. I'm going to high use five. the bathroom or something like that. And so uh, this is kind of your little intermission <laughs> screen. So you can okay. walk away, have your own clips from your channel play in the background while you're uh, while people are kind of waiting to have you come back into uh, the stream so you can see what the uh, the name of the category you're in is who clipped it you can also customize all that so you don't have to show everything there's also a little progress bar so you know how long can stroke it you know what i'm saying dude so you, so you know how long the actual uh, clip is going to be now moving on from there that's pretty cool and this would all update as uh, you know you change your game type and all that stuff so uh, once you uh, go from there, if you go out of game, you can actually have like a little be right back kind of like standby screen where maybe it's talking about right here what the game you're playing. And then you can also put up your stream chat right here or whatever you want. I just put some text there saying stream chat just to kind of give you an idea of what maybe what you could be doing. So, uh, yeah, now you can have this here and you can always add more stuff to these. So if you want to have the clips on this page, you could always swap in some clips right here while your camera's also on the side. So just keep that in mind. You can mix and match anything you want. Now, also on top of that, you have an in-game thing. So when I'm gaming, let's say I'm playing a little Call of Duty or something like that, name on the top left there, and then it's going to start displaying my social media there in the uh, the bottom left of where my name is. Now, that will run every, I think, 10 minutes. That little, the, that little thing up there will start to swing in and start to show every little social media thing that I have set up. If you do like the social media thing, don't worry. There's a social media scrolling thing right here, man. So here's another all like their different other tools that they have at your disposal. They have a little countdown timer that you can preset to whatever you want. So if you wanted that to be a certain 
uh, thing, you could have it be a certain thing. So pretty cool there. Now on the top right, you actually have yourself a little uh, Call of Duty Warzone. That's going to be an image that changes based upon the uh, the item on the left hand side of your screen. So you can see Call of Duty right here, just kind of chilling. And then uh, based on this category that you're selecting, it'll change the image right here for you. Now on the top left here, it's kind of hard to see. So let me go ahead and just blow that guy up right there you can see i have my social media so if i wanted that to come in every now and then i could do that and and there it is you can kind of see it kind of coming in right there and then obviously on the bottom right you got yourself your clip generator uh which i could bring in and do whatever i want so if i wanted my random clips to uh be in a different place i could always move it and do whatever i want with it i just happen to put it down here in the bottom right so you guys could see it on the fly here there's a couple other things that you actually have at your disposal here if i if i come over here and open up my chat and i actually type in exclamation point so for shout out and then a channel activator and I hit enter. Now you're going to see a little shout out over here. That's going to pop up on my screen. Now I have that customized right here as the shout out command and you can change that. So if somebody comes in, there's a lot more options. You can have it play a clip. You can have it say their name. You can do a bunch of different stuff with it. So I'll show you that here in a minute too. So but pretty cool that you can shout out someone and maybe it might uh, pop up a clip for you. And if I actually do the little shout out yet again, uh, shout out activator, and I hit enter, now it's going to pop up another clip from my channel while I'm streaming. It's a 29 second clip. Now you can limit how long that actually is, but you can see that it's importing a clip from the person that I'm shouting out. So if I shout somebody out, I can actually have it show who I'm shouting out and where their uh, their Twitch channel is. So pretty cool. That's a, uh, a feature that you guys can have by when you're trying to shout somebody out. Now people can see what they're all about from a clip that they have in their channel. Another thing you can do here is a poll. Let's go ahead and start a little poll. We're going to call this uh, question. Hit one, two, three, four. The duration will have it be one minute. And uh, if I hit start poll now inside my channel here, if I actually are inside my uh, my OBS, I actually have a poll started right there. So you can see that it started and now I can start to add, uh, you know, uh, answers that I want. So if I go ahead and back to here, if I'm going to click on maybe four as my option, I'm going to hit vote there. You can see it's going to pop up now and it's going to start to show uh, what people's polls are. And it's going to start to calculate on your screen on the fly based on the uh, the time left here as well. There's one more really weird thing. And I have this other screen over here. That's actually listening to my voice, which is cool because Check this out. If I say the word balls, I know <laughs> you can preset words, have it listen to your mic through a browser source uh, and through a, 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 an open window. And if I say two of two words right now, I can either say ball and have these show up or I can say balls and that'll still show up again. So based on keywords that I'm saying, anytime I say ball, it's going to pop up the image for however my duration of, of amount of seconds I want. Now, this can be a custom image that you upload or a URL. So keep that in mind that if you have an image that you want to have show up like, like this ball image right here, you could actually have it pop up at any time. So last little piece of uh, cool stuff here. You actually have this thing uh, where you can put all these different browser sources. Now, if you don't want to take up too much uh, you know, too many, you know, if you don't want too many browser sources, just put them all together, man. So I can just put everything right in here and now it's all collectively inside one source. And this is based inside of the website. So and now you can see that everything's working here. And again, if I were to type in poll and everything, everything would work as well. So, uh, this is all free, by the way, it's, it's of no charge to, uh, go ahead and use this stuff. But if you do want to pay the pro version, it is four 99 a month. So five bucks a month, much like a, a sub to another channel. So, uh, if you got yourself uh, five dollars a month. Pretty cool, man. You actually get a couple perks here. You get no watermarks. You get unlimited reactions. Now that is the uh, the the voice reactions, uh, as well as you uh, instead of only getting seventy five clips shown, that'll cycle through all your clips. Uh, now you can have up to three hundred, which is pretty great. You also get some storage capacity here to upload your own stuff. So max file size can be ten megabytes, whereas you only get three on this one. Um, you also get exclusive scene and widget styles, as well as you're supporting the development. And uh, it's all for the price of a Twitch subscription. You can use a credit card, PayPal credit or PayPal itself. So pretty cool, man. Five bucks a month, not too shabby. So I, I would recommend Pro just because of the, uh, you know, the uh, the maximum clips here, as well as the no watermarks. I hate watermarks. So that's it. Uh, say goodbye to my cat who's still sleeping here and doing a great job at it. But uh, that's the end of this video, man. Hopefully this helped you out and hopefully gave you some ideas to go ahead and uh, put something together for yourselves.
Uh, I think it's pretty cool, and there's a lot of uses for this situation to, to utilize to maybe benefit your stream. So, you know, saying the word balls and having that kind of pop up was pretty funny, and there's a lot of good little features in there. So maybe this would help you out in giving your uh, your stream audience a little something extra, a little bit of finesse for you guys to go ahead and create something new and special. Anyways, take care. Thank you guys for watching. Appreciate it. Like and subscribe, man. I, you know, I, I would love to build this channel as much as I can, man. Now, I am streaming over on Twitch. That's twitch.tv slash activators if you want to come by and hang out. Come by and hang out, man. I stream Monday, Wednesday, Friday. Also, sub to the channel, man. It would help me out, dude. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it. Maybe this did help you out. Maybe it didn't. I don't know, man. That's, that's your call. You let me know. Anyways, uh, if you have questions, comments, concerns, message me down below. But again, it's scene.gg. Beautiful website, man. And I'll catch you on the next one. All right, take care. Uh, be kind to each other. And I'll see you next time.